we were at Big Toho Marina today. So the biggest bag of fish ever caught in a bass tournament, bass, B-A-S-S tournament, was caught here. I think it's 45 pounds, two ounces by Dean Rojas. They were on bed today. They are on bed, should be at least. So we'll try to get 105 pounder and me a 10. So let's go. I'm trying to catch a 10 too. Hunter's trying to catch a four six. We're breaking our PBs today. Let's go catch one. All right, we on Toho now. I'm starting off with the old big weight. I want to give a quick shout out to Summerlin Outdoors just real quick. That's where I got all my reels at for this year. They keep the Shimano stock. So if you want to check out a reel like this, go to Summerlin Outdoors. Now let's catch one on it. There's a good one on bed right there. I'm just gonna drift by real slow. Big ball of fry right there. Same deal, real slow light. So I found me a nice one on bed right here. Got a little too close to him though. Way too close to him actually. Up. On the hook set, I knocked my chesty up. You can grab him or I'll swing. You gonna grab him? Don't grab the line. There's a nice one. Show him to us. I didn't grab the line. She did not grab the line. Nice little bed fish. How big is that? It's over three pounds for sure. So you gotta be careful with these hooks because the barb is very, very brittle, but it hooks them really, really well. So you never want to push out hard against bone with that barb. That's over three pounds. It might be a three and a half. No, th probably three and a quarter. Three, five, three, six. I'm gonna turn around so y'all get a good look at him. Down there guarding a the bed. Awesome. First ever Lake Toho bass on a bed. Got him. We needed him yesterday. Just got our first Lake Toho bass. It's a pretty nice one, wasn't it? Yep. Up there on bed, spawning, over three pounder, big male. You know, whenever you're sight fishing, especially in Florida, you, a three pound male is like the holy grail. That's what you're looking for all the time because a female can come and go, a male stays there for multiple days in a row. So that was a freaking awesome fish catch. Finally, I messed with that fish probably 10 minutes solid where I was, you know, messing with him, trying to find the right boat angle. A lot of times if you'll change the angle of the boat where the you're pointed straight at the bed instead of sideways, the fish get a lot more active because they can see less of the boat. So I changed the angle, got where I could see him well, and then played with him for probably about six minutes in the right angle, five or six from the right side, and find out where he was sitting at and got him to bite. So first fish of Toho, a good one. Now we gotta get the size up a little. Got some, a little bit of duckweed mixed in hyacinths, some slime over here, so. Picking this frog up. Got one? There you go. Good one too, girl. Heck yeah. Daggone, girl. I heard you splashing. Got you a dang nice one. You don't need no bed fish, do you? You just pitch a dang Cinco out there. I'm telling you, Hunter catches more fish per cast than me by a lot. She don't fish very long. When she does, she usually catches them. I gotta trim down a little so I can steer this boat. There you go. Pound, pound 14, two pounder, something like that. Dang good one, man. Yeah. No, don't keep them. Cause they're done spawning and they, they're not real, they're not easy to keep alive this time of year, so. We'll look at him again. He's pretty, he's very, he's a beautiful spot. You see his spots? Very pretty fish. There's things to fish down here in these canals. They just throw it and reel it like a chatterbait and fish eat it.
So I accidentally turned my GoPro off instead of on. I got me a little old 12 incher. Little canal bass. Up here looking for a bed and caught me a little cruiser on the seawall. Alabama style. Hooked him perfectly in the roof of the mouth. 13, 14 incher. That's it, huh? All right. Not a bad start for our first day on Toho, is it? I caught a fish. Hunter caught a fish. I've caught three fish and we caught one good one. Haven't caught one of those Toho giants yet, but that's what we're trying to do now. Go find one of them real big ones on bed. So keep watching. Fry garters don't come back like red fish do. Oh, there he is. I see him now. He's over there. He's a good one. Here he comes. Oh, he's right there in the middle of the bed right now. I want to catch him on this. This rod. He's about to get caught. I ain't caught one this big on this rod yet. Here he comes. He is not happy about it. This rock feels good though. Oh, yeah, the How far is he going to go? I'm going to lose him. Yeah. Heck, I can't. He got me all kind of wrapped. God. Uh-oh. Come on, don't do that to me. He's on the... He is on the trolling motor. Oh my God. I think he came off. No, he didn't. He's right there. What did you do, man? That's what you get, Kyle. Because... I asked you to let me reel him in. Alright, I got it. I can't get back in the box. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> he is not big, is he? How big is he? Huh? How big is he? Two and a half? Two and three quarters, maybe? That sucker was fighting, dude. Another little Toho keeper, little bitty one, but fun to catch them on that spin rod. I hadn't caught many on it, so it's one of my favorite rods I built, and I'm trying to break it in to say. What about that Toho big one? Back to back in this little canoe. Gosh. That was first flip at that one. All right, so we got a tiny male. I'm talking about 12 inch up here. But he's a bit like four casts in a row, so let's see if he's still in the bay. Uh, 
That's been a long time for that little one, didn't it? We really went that long. These small ones are the hardest ones to catch. Three pound or four pound male is easy to catch, and a big female is usually easy to catch. These suckers to two pounders, so hard to catch.